Excellent. We have our amazing, you, fantastic Joan Francis, psychic Joan Francis, international psychic medium, past life surrogacy, reveal expert Joan Francis Boyle, the Scottish seer, 31 years of experience. She is delighted to serve you with her psychic and spirit communication readings, past life surrogacy, reveal expert psychic consultant, and her list goes on and on. This woman knows her stuff. She is one of the most amazing psychics I've experienced, and I look forward to sharing and hearing from her. Off to you, Joan Francis. You are muted, my dear. Joan Francis, my dear, unmute yourself. Joan Francis. That is. That oh, is. There she is. There that she is. is. <clears throat> Just wouldn't do it there. <laughs> wasn't doing as it's told. <laughs> anyway, hello, everybody. So this is the fun room. Believe it or not, this is the first time I've been in the fun room. So, so here we are. So tonight, what I wanted to do, because I have two, um, two slots in here. So I have from 6 to 6.30 and 6.30 to 7. So I was going to do two different things. What do you think? You want one thing or two? Just unmute yourselves. I'm I'm happy with you. Two. two. Let's go for two. <laughs> two sounds good. Yeah, good. Okay. Thank you. So first one I wanted to do is that basically I wanted to ask you if you wanted to have some uh, rapid readings, um, so we can do rapid tarot readings and give you all. But I wanted to do some fun together and see how your energies are blending together as well. Okay. How do you feel about that? Lovely. Yes. Yeah. Okay. To get you working. Get you working intuitively. That's what I thought. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is that seeing that we're, we're just here as a group. Okay. I'm going to choose two cards and you can see me do it. So we have this one here. Okay. And I think one from this side of the pack as well. Okay. And what I want you to focus on is either card one or card two. Okay. Card one or card two. Yeah. You know what one you're going to pick? Yeah. Keep it in your thoughts. Right. Okay. That's fine. You can tell me. It's okay. <laughs> it's mm. not going to change anything for me, put it that way. So we've got card one here, we've got card two, which is here. And then basically, what I will do, I'll do this so that you can actually see them. I'm not revealing them to you, okay? Not yet. So we have card one, card two. And I'll set it here, and it means that you can keep your eye on them. Oh. And what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. So those who have got their cameras off, um, just let me just unmute yourself for a moment and just let me know that you're understanding what I'm actually asking you to do. Okay. Understanding. So you don't have to put your camera on. You just just unmute yourself if you don't want okay. to. It's okay. But Thank just unmute you. if you want to and just let me know that you're understanding what I'm asking you to do. Okay. Yes. And. So here, it's, this is card one, this is card two. Focus on which one, just one, that you actually want to focus on to. And then I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to take a nice deep breath. Okay. And I want you to imagine that you have a moment of coming across and blending with the card of your choice, okay? Just blend with the card of your choice. Okay? And when you blend with the card of your choice, then basically just imagine that you can now lift the card and you can actually see the card. Just imagine that you're doing it. Okay, just imagine that you're doing it. And it's not hard. You don't have to think about it a lot. Just casually do it. Okay. 
And then I want you to move into that feeling. And I want you now to allow the card to experience the card as though you are living the card. Okay? So you're living the meaning, the essence of the card. By doing that, you allow just whether it be images or sounds or feelings, you might see random pictures, you might remember things from your past, you might see symbolic items, you might just see nothing, but feel everything. You might even have thoughts of different, just different thoughts. Let them come and let them go. And then I want you to have this moment with the card and say, what message do you have for me? What message do you have for me? And just let it happen. You don't need to do anything. And then imagine that you're pulling away from the card. You're back into your own space. You take a nice deep breath. You imagine a powerful white light washes all the way through you, all the way from the top of your head, right down through your feet, down into the ground, wherever you are. And you see a beautiful purple light all around you. You feel safe and secure and snug. You take a further deep breath, give thanks to your God, your universal God, how you see your God to be for giving you this opportunity. Take a further breath, open your eyes. Ah, namaste. Namaste. Now, what I would like you to do is to have a pen, paper next to you and just jot down anything at all that you actually experienced. Now, it doesn't matter if it was just one thing that you experienced, if it was a thought, a feeling, or even you might want to say, I didn't get anything at all. But just note it down. Take a moment, just write it down. And then we're going to reveal how much psychic energy did you actually use there? Okay. So how much, what connections did you actually make? Did you see a lot? Did you feel it? Did you think you imagined it? Because sometimes people think, oh, I, I think I imagined that. But really what they actually experienced was experiencing the whole thing. So just now move the camera down so you can see it a wee bit more. And there we go. You can see the two cards that are there. Now, just let me know when you've finished writing. Let me know there. And then you can just unmute yourself. So this part is where you get to talk to me. So mm -hmm. who wants to go first? Who wants to just say quickly, just, you don't have to have a big story, but just tell me exactly what you got in the space there. So let's do card one. Who went to card one first? Who um, picked sorry. card one? Who picked card one? Right? Okay. Donna, you picked card one. Uh, yeah. Christopher, you're uh, Christopher saying I did. Okay. So I'm watching the chat line for you, Christopher. So Christopher, you picked card one. Um, let me see who else. Okay. And so we're going to do card one first then. Okay. So what did you get, Donna? What did you did you get there? Christopher, can you just put into the chat line 
what you got, please, if you can. Thanks. Oh, want me to uh, type it in? No, no, don't type oh, it in. Just tell you. Um, yeah, it was all, yeah, I, I got like an infinity and a swirl and maybe red and blue and water. Um, I'm not sure, a tree, a tree maybe, um, a flower. Yeah, did I bingo on any of them? <laughs> okay, right. Just, are you typing in, Christopher, just so that I know whether to wait on your, your text or not? No, I'm not, no. Oh, no, he is. No, no, not, not yourself, Donna. Okay. Just, Christopher doesn't have a microphone, so he's typing. Okay. What, what I got was a vision of a king, uh, first floating, then spinning, then yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, for the both of you, okay, this is really good. Christopher, you nailed it. There is the emperor. He looks as like a king sitting on his throne there, okay? Because you said a vision of a king first floating uh, around the purple haze. Now, Donna, you got the blue. So you definitely got the, the blue in the, there. You also got, did you say that it was something round? I was thinking like swirls or, um, yeah, it's hard to see the card, but... It, Okay, I'm going to bring it up close to you. So if you look and you see it in his hand, it has oh, it the, looks like the world, it has the thunderbolts. So yeah. some people, you know, close to swirls is the, is the thunderbolts. You get <laughs> okay. the blue, okay? And yeah. as you can see, Christopher said it was a, so a vision of a king. Now, although he's an emperor, or he's named an emperor in this, this card, but when you actually look at him, he's sitting on a throne. So I would actually say, if I saw an image like that, I would say I'm looking at a king as well. I wouldn't say I'm looking at an emperor. So bravo um, in that space. And, and Donna, did you say uh, that you had you had the blue color? Yes. You got the color I said blue, blue and red. I thought red too. I don't know what the crown is. Yeah. It's kind of brown. Uh, it's, it's meant to be gold. I'll hold it up close so that you can see it. Yeah, so okay. So yeah, I was getting color, water. It kind of looks like uh, snow. Yeah. Well, it's snow in the background. He's standing. Yeah. This is the world that he's standing on. That's the image that's there. So yeah. I would tend to say that you've definitely linked with the card. That's fantastic. I think that's amazing. I love it for you. And, uh, it shows that the, the potential of the psychic energy is there. My job as a, a psychic um, development uh, tutor is that I would, the one thing that I would tend to say is that don't say I think. That's the only su suggestion I'm going to make to yourself, Donna, is I can't tell Christopher because I can't hear what he's saying. I can read what he's saying. But I would tend to say um, to it's when you were saying, and, and I think, I guess, it, I think it was, so make a decision. Right. Psychic energy works best when you make a decision. You know, there, it's more directive. So when you make a decision, that's what I'm going to say. That's that's when it actually happens for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're linking in, you're doing it. Everything's in there. It's fantastic. Okay. So card two. So I take it that everybody else went with tab two, yes? Okay, so um, Katie, you, Kate, I should say, sorry, you're first up in the corner there. So what, what did you get? I felt a feeling of being like surrounded by friends, um, like friendship, um, and also like very balanced and like harmony and peace. Okay, right. Um, Tazana, I'm going to say Tazina. Sorry about that. Tazina. <laughs> okay. So, what did you get there? Um, I felt like I would. I just uh, walked through when I walked through the card. I felt like I was kind of in an enchanted forest, and um, I thought I saw kind of like vines or a snake or mm -hmm. something like flowing like that and 
that's when I was kind of merging myself in the card. And I, as I walked away and looked towards the card, it kind of felt like there was some sort of a being there, not necessarily human, but I couldn't really see. And, and I felt very warm, like I was almost sweating all of a sudden, I felt this really intense warmth. Mm -hmm. So so I'm going to ask you a question before I turn it around. When you said that you had an intense heat or sweat, you know, you were beginning to perspire, you know, and that was that a good perspire or did you feel agitated perspire? No, it wasn't agitating. It was okay. just mm-hmm. kind so, of the warmth. Yeah, yeah. Just, just checking. And mm-hmm. Kate, when you were saying that that warmth and friendship, were there a lot of people around you or just one person or more? <clears throat> Excuse me. I would say a couple, like maybe two. Okay, maybe. right. And now I know Ram Ram, you have just joined us, I believe. Um, So you may not understand the exercise at the moment. So bear with us. We're going on to another one shortly. Um, V, uh, are you participating? Because I know that you're a volunteer. I am not, but thank you. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So ladies, here it is. This is your card. And Tizana, Mm -hmm. you are, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly. You spoke about the vines, like a snake like yes. it. Look at the vines, look at the vines that he has <laughs> there. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. There are two people in the card. So mm-hmm. Kate, you said two, as in how many people was actually there. And I think both of you um, were talking about the energy was warm, as I said, and Kate, I think you were saying it was loving and floaty and you felt as if you were being supported by your friends. Although this card kind of a, um, predicts that, you know, he's he's kind of a looking over his shoulder and that's why I was asking you the question, was it a, a, a heat of anxiety or was it a heat of, of, of good? Because this card tends to predict that, uh, um, have a prediction with it, is that he's anxious. He's looking over the young apprentice's shoulder and he thinks, he's better than me, you know. So that would have been an anxiety of, of moment, but you were feeling it was okay. Mm-hmm. So um, Kate, was it yourself that said it was outside? Please forgive me on that. Is that Tanana? Tanzina. Tanzina, was that yes. yourself? Did you say uh, it was outside? I thought one of you said it was outside. A saint? No. Outside. She said like a forest. A forest. Uh, yes, yes. Well, it's not a forest, but it is outside. It's shown. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And it is full of nature. And yes. the card, I'm holding it quite close to the camera. I am in a studio which has a green room. So the fields are green, but it's not going to show green. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what the <laughs> of my green room here. Okay. I think if I get close enough, it might. Yes, yes, I can see the green. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I would definitely say again, you'd have that, that potential of the energy. I'm just looking for my cards here. Of um, bringing that energy to, in, in a way, showing you that the abilities are there. And that was just a few minutes. It was literally just a few minutes of doing an exercise and you can literally do that exercise yourself. You know, if you had a pack of cards and you just had, even if you just picked a card, sat it on the table face down and imagine your energy projecting into the card. And the way for psychic abilities is that the more you can project your energy and connect, even if it's just one thing that you get, in the picture it means that your energies are you're working your energies it's like flexing a muscle isn't it if you wanted to start doing um weight training you're not going to go in and pick up the heaviest weights you know in in the gym you'll go in and you'll start using the smallest weights and flex your muscles Mm -hmm. so it's the same with psychic abilities 
the more you flex the psychic ability muscle, the more it becomes easier. Okay. And I am actually really pleased because I think you've done extremely well. So thank you and well done. <laughs> well done. And I am going to say, Christopher, um, you actually named the king. You know, I know it says emperor on the card, but I'm, I'm going to give you that as a full-on version of the king there. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So what other um, ways that we can actually use the cards is to do rapid reading. So I'm going to pick this one here. I'm going to lift it up so that you can actually see them here. Okay. And Kate, you're in my top corner here. So um, you want to choose a card. I'm just going to run my finger across. Then I will actually stop at the card or bundle of the cards that you're actually wanting to choose. Stop. It's hanging here. Do you want the top card? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. You have the sun god. Okay. Mm. So you have the sun god. The sun god talks about um, love, romance, um, courtship, um, energies like that. One thing I'm going to say here is that um, when I actually blend in with the card here for you uh, to use the power of intuition is that I feel I'm, I'm not going to say that you are in a full blown relationship, but what I do, <laughs> please forgive me for being so bold here, but what I'm going to say is that I feel as if I'm either in one, but just in one. You know, I feel as if my heart, I want to open your heart even more. Um, so please forgive me for being so bold. But I want to open your heart even more so that I can experience the full effects of a relationship. Does that make sense to you? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a little heart meditation would do wonderfully, I think, in that space for you. And again... Um, you know, they're only small readings, but I, again, I would definitely investigate. I would do a nice meditation, investigate into the book of karma and just look and see what connections to love has for you in there and then resolve, do a little resolve energy work, you know, to, in a sense, free up that, that nice heart chakra, okay? And, and let it function even more there. Okay, uh, thank you. Namaste. Tanaza, I'm going to say your name wrong. I know I am. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Do you want to have a card? <laughs> <laughs> sure, yes. Tell me your pronunciation again. Tanzina. Tanzina. Right, I have yes. to do the V. Zina. Right, yes. <laughs> okay, this time now. Tanzina. Okay, I'm going to run my finger across, just as I said. Stop. No. Okay. I'm in this section here, so I would tend to say it would be those three. This one, this one, or this one? Um, one, two, three. The three. Three, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, we're all about love today, aren't we? We're all saying yeah, <laughs> the goals of love here. <laughs> Okay, so the ace really is actually saying that this is the, the raw eruption, okay? So it's the, the power of one, it's the raw eruption of the energy. But what I'm also going to actually be saying here as well is that, you know, it's not just about um, love romance as in, how can I say this, the, you know, of the romantic side, if I say it that way. What I'm going to say here is that I actually feel that this is more about the love of, and I'm going to say like the arts, like I feel as if, you know, like it's either art or music or it's, it's, it's not just the, the oh my sherry moment, you know, <laughs> it's very much the, <laughs> it's more about the, the passion, the passion for the arts or some form of 
where you can admire, you know, it's the either the doing or the admiring energy. Mm. So that's what I feel with this rather mm. than, as I say, the romantic side of things. Mm. So I am I, an I, artist. Oh my God. Well, then, well, <laughs> don't think. So I'm going to say. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to say. Because I don't know, but <laughs> this is my first time with a tarot reading. Well, so. Oh, is it? Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> here you go. What I was about to say is that I feel that that, that passion, I want to, I, I kind of I feel as if I want to just throw the energy out there, um, but focus it onto, you know, the project at hand, okay? And I feel with that, it's got to be something new. It's got to fuel me. I feel as if I'm 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 raring to go. I need I need I need it. So maybe you need the new focus, you know, and then just outpour that energy into the new vibration. And I feel that would be the art, the passion, you know, pour it into it. And I actually feel I'm I'm going to put my heart right out there, okay? Because when I feel into this for you, I feel as if I'm looking at commissioned pieces. I really do. I, 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 I have to say it. You know, I really have to say it. It's, it's not just a, yeah, there's a, no, this is, this is for people. This is, this is energy for other people that's going to admire it, love it, you know, and, and want to take it home, <laughs> you know. And, and in fact, I would probably say, yeah, you have to do it. It's new, okay? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, okay? Um, so thank you very much. Namaste again. Thank you. Now, Donna, we're on to, you're on my next part here. Uh, okay. And I'll just give them a wee shuffle again there, okay? So, and if you don't want a card, you don't have to take it, you know. I mean. <laughs> oh, no, I want one. <laughs> So I'm going to just do this so that I can run my finger. How about the top one? You want the top one? Yes. Yes. Ah, yeah, get right in there. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You're never going to believe this. Were you card what? one or were you card two? Pardon? Were you card, when you chose the cards? Oh, I, I, I chose one. Yes, because you chose the, the king. Yes. Oh, but the emperor, actually, it was. Look who you chose. Well, you, I have to tell you, I wanted both. <laughs> I wanted one and two. And then some other things that came up was Ace, which was the last lady's um, wow. card, Ace. And then the first one was Sun. And that, to me, the swirl was like a sun. So I felt like I was getting all of them. Well, you, well Kate but, had Sun Apollo. Yeah had the sun card she had the sun card she'd apollo yeah. so do you know donna i would actually put you then as a predictive psychic uh-huh right so that's not in the moment as a predictive psychic if you're predicting all the cards that's came forward so far in that very first exercise then you have to pay attention to that because i would actually say that that's a predictive psychic okay it's called predictive yeah, I, I see the future a lot. Well, that's that, that's a predictive psychic. Yeah. Okay. Because you're, you're, you're seeing you're seeing everything of the future, nothing of the past, and nothing of the present. It's all the future, and that's yeah, that's psychic that does that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No more. more so, I, I I see kind of a lot from maybe some things from the past, but basically, well, yeah, basically I see the future in visions. Mm -hmm. But if yeah. you're forty is the future then that's really where you want to focus your energy because then you're not forcing your energy to go backwards and, and spend time in the present when yeah i'm tired of going backwards well your energy is pushing you towards the future you know okay and that's an interesting one because this card as i said the last time you know it shows where he thinks that he's not good enough that other people are better than him uh -huh. so this is a card of disappointment and it really is then saying that you should not be disappointed in your energies because you are you you have all the experience uh whereas 
he is he's looking at the young apprentice saying, you know, he's better than me, look at what he's doing. And but yet look what you've got in your arms. You've already got all the pentacles, you've already got the four. He's working on his first one. Right. You see? So this tells me that you're a natural psychic. We're all natural psychics, right? Right. Some people will go through life and never ever use what they would term as their psychic ability. Okay. But yeah, if you looked at the life you'll find where they have entwined their psychic abilities into other areas. It's like Tanz Tanzani. No, <laughs> I'm going to say your name wrong. <laughs> Tanzia. Tanzia. Yes, yes. It's obviously saying that she's an artist. So her card comes forward to tell her, put the passion into the new energy, you know, get it going. Whereas yours is coming here but and saying- I'm an artist as well. <laughs> just let you know yeah. oh well there you go but yeah. this this is actually saying then look at the power of who you actually are don't look at anybody else it right. is a thing that i have never done i ha i i'm even on here i'm blind to who is all these other speakers so right I never look at somebody else and compare myself to anybody else because we are all unique and our own energy right I, I i try not to do that you know i i i really feel i just feel like i'm always in that it's all more about myself instead of comparing it's always like i want to try harder and not doing enough when i do i do so much energy work well, and and i go through so much in my life and i try real hard but i always condemning myself and not trying hard enough or not doing enough or you know so well, but so that relates i think too so if you were in my talk earlier at four o'clock, and I, it's okay if you went, but if yeah. you went, then I would be asking you to look at your past lives. Because if you're over trying in this life, then that comes from an area of the past, as in past life, okay? Right. It's mimicking into this one where you'll never ever feel that you've done enough or you're good enough, you know, or anything like that. So look to your past life, have that resolved, and allow yourself then to look at what you've already got in your atoms because you've already got everything that you need to be mm -hmm. the power of the expert in your own right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. No, I, I feel truly blessed, you know? Okay. Yeah. Thank so, you. I saw your, I saw your talk earlier and I had two names on you. I had you, um, as uh, Joan Francis Boyle, but you, I thought you came through as Roseanne number 14, Sweeney. Uh, wait, because I saw you speak earlier, didn't you speak earlier about past lives and karma? That was the room. I was. I am in room fourteen. Yes, yeah, I, I had the room main, fourteen. The main speaker at four o'clock. Yes. So what's your name? Joan Francis Boyle. Yep. Oh, I don't know how I had Roseanne Sweeney. Maybe somehow it that was the one before or after you. Okay, I just wanted to know um, your name. Thank you. Yeah, it should be on. See if you look. No, I've got it now. But when I, I, took, okay. I took notes of you before when you were talking about karma and past lives, and I had your name down wrong. Oh, okay, so right. that's why well, I came to you again <laughs> to get it right. Well, Thank what you, you do is um, put down www.joanfrancis.com. Okay. Okay. And you'll be able to go to my website and see lots of different things on there. If you go to Facebook, just put in the Scottish Seer. Uh, you have to write, write the whole thing to get it. And, and Joan, I'll come good, or Francis. just Joan Francis Boyle. I also, okay. I, I dropped your Great. whole information into the chat also, so they could pick your information. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there, Michelle's put everything. So you just have to look at the chat, see okay. the chat, everything. Okay. So, um, but I would definitely look at the, the past life part because if you're stuck, you could go for long periods of time, you know, and, and still feel unstuck, even if you're working so hard, you know, to achieve everything. And well, no, I'm, I'm going in leaps and bounds, actually. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's all good. Yeah. Well, I would actually say your, your, your energy is growing because you've, you've got quite a powerful aura. And, and but you don't want to be feeling that you're still having to do too much to get there. Right. Um, Christopher, I know you, you don't have a microphone, so I'm just going to choose for you because obviously you can't tell me to stop. And if you just, in the chat, if you can just say yes, um, 
that you would like a card, first of all. I shouldn't do it without you asking. So just type in the word yes if you would like a card, Christopher. Yes, take six. Oh, there you go, six from the top. Right. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, number six. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this is all about the power of your mind, Christopher. Swords are all about the powers of the mind. Fives are always about testing times. But when I actually feel into this, this is, this is interesting because this card normally tells us that you're going through um, testing, you know, periods of time in your life. But I don't want to say that to you. I um, actually, sorry, it's a four, not a five. That's probably why, because I'm going, I said five. And I'm saying, I don't want to say testing time to you. <laughs> but it's actually number four, so forgive me on that. Um, so that's obviously why. So fours are really about the power of um, looking at what you can do, not be disappointed in what you're, you're having to achieve in life as well. So when I turn this and I feel and I want to face forward, I don't want to be looking back. So that tells me that you need to now move forward in life rather than moving back. I never mind even looking back, but even thinking, because this is sword. This is about the power of your mind. But as I move forward, I, I, I don't know if you have an interest in science or you have... Uh, how can I say this? An interest in science, an, an interest in doctoring, or an, an interest in lab work. I keep seeing white coats with you. Um, so that would tell me more about the connection to medical or labs or scientific. That's the three things that would come up for me. So if that's the case, then put your energies forward. Don't look back. Focus on the future for yourself as well. And again, fours are about disappointment. I don't really want to talk about disappointment. I really want to say, draw the line. I want to actually lift my pen <laughs> and draw a line, as we call it, in the sand. Natural world and such, yeah, exactly that. I feel as if there's such a connection to either medical, so if it's, um, if it's a natural world, then look to... I don't want to kind of push in a direction that you don't want to go in, but I, what's going up for me is if you're talking about the natural world and I get white coats, it would have to be like herbalism or, or homeopathic energy. Or so, There you go. I was just the way, did you hear that? It's essential oils. And he's just typed mm. into the chat line. <laughs> so, yes, I heard. It, right? So that's what I feel here. And definitely move that energy forward because for me it's a it's a huge yes for you to move forward in that way. And don't look back. That's all I'm going to say on that one. That is so, so powerful. Okay. So I know a few people have now just come in and welcome. Um, thank you, Christopher, as well. So namaste. And namaste to those who have just come in. We're just about to now do the next part on here. So my name is Joan Francis Boyle. I should have introduced myself when I came in, and I didn't because I thought you all knew. <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, but I'm also known as the Scottish Seer. I'm also known as the Past Life Surrogacy Reveal Expert. And I'm also known as the Psychic Property Surveyor. Uh, I have also the title as Clinical Hypnotherapist. I'm an uh, Executive Firewalker Instructor. I'm a Master Teacher in four modalities of healing. And I have also channeled three other systems, healing systems. And they are all about colour, um, colour life palette and intuitive life coaching. So... Uh, in a sense, enough about me, because this is all about the fun for you in this room. And what I would like to do with you now is take you on a little journey into another connection of dimension. So what I have got here is, these are not my design cards. These are actually um, another lady's cards. And 
But what I have done is I've utilised them into this little talk for you here. So I have these cards here and what I've done is I've actually shuffled them. And it's all about getting you to work with your intuition. So you've all done extremely well so far. So, <laughs> so let's make it continue forward. So what I've got here is I actually have, and I'll just count them out so that you can see them. One, two, three, four, five. I'll make sure I'm down. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. So there's 12 cards. I'm going to keep moving them until we start to do the exercise. And then what I want you to think about as soon as I stop here in a moment or two is that you're going to choose a number. Okay, and when you choose a number, then I'm going to tell you what dimension that actually connects to. Okay, and then we can have a little discussion. I know we've, we've got another 20 minutes, so we should, I can talk fast as long as you can understand me. Then what we can do is connect and, and we can give you some information on the relevance of that dimension to yourself. Okay. Is the number, should the number be between 1 to 12? Yes. Okay. Hopefully, because that's what these are, 1 to 12, okay? So just um, put yourself into a nice, quiet moment, okay? So I'm holding them here. Keep them here so that you can actually see them. I'll move them again, seeing that I'll let you see the back of them, okay? So I'm holding them in my hand here. And then basically what I want you to do is just to close your eyes, Take a nice deep breath. And just give yourself permission now to allow yourself to shift dimension. That's all you have to do is just say, yes, I give myself permission. Your mind and vibrational energy will do everything else for you. So I give myself permission to move and shift dimension. And then just pause for a moment and that one to 12 will enter into your mind. Just hold it. And as you hold it, then just allow that dimension to give you a visual or a feeling, something that will connect you back to that vibration. It could be anything at all. It could be a colour, it could be a sound, it could be a word. It could be anything at all. Okay. And just as you get it, then just like that, your energy will feel, you may feel a different feeling, or you may feel nothing. And then allow yourself to take another deep breath and then allow yourself to begin to feel exactly where you're sitting or lying. Take another deep breath. Feel yourself back into your own space. Draw a white light from the crown of your head down through your body. Just imagine it going through you working over the top of you, around you, moving down to your feet, and then straight down into the earth. Bring the color of purple all around you, feeling loved and secure. Connect with Mother Earth. Imagine your favorite place. Take another deep breath, open your eyes, and namaste. Okay. And while you were doing that, I've just jotted your name down so that I can write your number next to your name because I'm, <laughs> I'll forget all the numbers. <laughs> so, Donna, what was your number? A six. Six, okay. And... Tanzi, Tanz, oh my Tanzina. goodness. Tanzina. Tanzina. Nine, please. How hard was that? 
Uh, where are we? Sundria, is it Sundria? 12. 12, okay. And Storm, just unmute yourselves. Kate, you can tell me yours while we're waiting for Storm. I, I wasn't here when you did whatever you did with the numbers. Ah, well, I'm just going to ask you to choose a card, 1 to 12. 4. 4, okay. And Kate? 8. 8, sorry. And Christopher, have you put it in the chat line for me? 11. There we go. Okay, right. So we're going to take from the top. So who was, uh, who's the first card? So four, Storm. This is, so one, two, and three, and here we've got four. Okay, we're going to set the rest up there because we're working with number four card. Oh, wow, Storm, you have gold. You are working with the third light body. So this is your, this is actually the 12th realm of dimension. It's your third light body. You have the power of the gold vibration here. Uh, it just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Look at that. You can see the swirls in it. And when I feel into that for you, it's, it's very much for you to connect with the soul body. So this is the complete, complete essence. You're, we have three light bodies. We have the first light body, which is the one that we're in here on Earth. We have a second, and then we have our higher light body. So you are actually working with your highest light body. That is absolutely amazing. And of course, you're working with the, the 12th um, dimension. So as you work with the, the 12th dimension, then basically what is, is happening there is that you are using what we term as the power of light language. So uh, uh, if you're aware that you are able to, to do all that, then that's fantastic. If you're unaware that you're able to do that, then I would ask you to meditate more so as that you can become more accustomed, more, you know, it's like what I was saying in my morning's talk in, in the room was that the more we do, the more we become accustomed, but the more that we become accustomed, we become more limitless because we don't have all these filters of I can't uh, or what if and you know so you work with the gold vibration that is amazing. What's even more amazing was I was in um, Laurel's thing uh, doing crystals and we were supposed to picture a crystal in my hand and of all the things that I could have pictured in my hand gold came and visited wow oh that's amazing oh that's fantastic mm. oh there you, so it's confirmation we have yeah. confirmation oh that is oh you must tell her i must tell her so that's that's mm. good. if you see it again you tell her too that yeah. that's that's amazing that's yeah. fantastic so that was number four okay so we'll put three four on the deck here Next person is Donna. You were six, so we have five, and then we take six. Okay. Oh wow! So Donna, you have the the coral energy here. So the coral energy is is in connection with the the earthly reproduction. So this is all about the power of reproduction. It's new birthing over and over and over again. Now. Also, the connection there is as well would be bringing in the power of the um, basically the, the, the power of you working with um, children, the reproduction system of, of uh, for other people as well. So that's a healing energy. And, and also, you know, the, if we start to look at the, the light body connections for yourself as well there. Is, is very much into the power of the, the second light body as well. So when we come onto the earth, we come on for the power of reproduction. So when we get the power of reproduction going onto the earth, it means that we are creating everlasting. It's an everlasting energy. And that's really important for you as well. Now, the color coral as well actually has 
um, how can I say it? It's all about the synchronicity of life, you know, and, and allowing life to actually just come and flow within there. But when we do work with the coral, we also work with emotions and the sea, okay? So it's all to do with water, power of the sea, and bringing it in that way as well. Um, but also this, this particular color uh, has a number, you can see it here on the screen, mm. so it's 33. So if you work by the angel numbers, you'll understand that that is a very high frequency of energy. Okay. Nice. That's fantastic. Love it for you. Okay. Just to let you know, I've been I've been dealing with my second chakra and all day I've been working with uh, carnelian, which is kind of an orangey coral wow. color. I've never had children, but I'm having problems in that area that I need to heal. And yes. I, I always work with the threes. They come to me all the time. So mm -hmm. awesome. Well, I, I would have, if I had been in a private session, I would have gone into the power of the reproduction system and looked at the power of healing in that. Because this is a fun room, I'm trying right. to keep it very light. We'll keep it light. <laughs> we'll keep it light. The 33, yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. And always remember, 33 comes back to being a six, okay? Right. It's success. So keep the healing going because six is a success, okay? Thank you. So fantastic. Okay, so Kate, you were number eight. So we got to six. That's seven. And we have eight. I'm going to pop these up here. Uh, okay, you are all about the power of the mind. This is the keen seeing energy of the thought process. It's absolutely beautiful. It's all about purifying the body. You see, it's lovely colors in there. But we have got the power of purifying the body. And we also have the number 42. I will jump back and tell the others their number as well. Um, but the 42, again, comes back to being a six, but can split to being a 33. So you can mm. see how with the power of the mind, the energy jumps from one thing to the other. But this, I feel for yourself, is I, I, I'm going to actually say about you learning more because the power of this goes to the power of the solar, solar plexus as well. And when we get the energy going into the solar plexus, you know, it's, it's really about, you know, the, the vibration of, you know, working to, towards the, the power of the mind, yes, but it's not just that. I actually feel that I would like to talk about the, the first light body, but also the third dimension. And, and it's also about the, the control of the intuitive life support chakra system. So when the solar plex is in connection to this world again, but this is actually talking about the, the power of the first light body. So, and the control of the chakra system. So if you're not a healer at this point, then I would probably say that you need to look at the power of where healing is concerned, okay? Um, because that, that would be really important for you. And because it's the yellow, it's about applying your mind to that area as well. So possibly psychology as well in, in that area, okay? Now I know I need to rush because we've got other people coming on. So that was Kate. So we're going to number nine, which is the next card. Oh, where is she? She's still here? Yes. My favourite girl that I can't say her name right for the third or fourth time. <laughs> you have, wow, silver. Look at this. It's mm. kind of funny. It's all about the power of silver. But silver is the second light body. So, Tanzia. Am I saying Tanzina. it right? Tanzina. 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 God. <laughs> so, what I would tend to say, uh, Tanzina, is that you have to work from the higher dimension. So if you can, if you're doing art, um, please have, if you don't already, because I believe artists work from that higher plane anyway, but this is really the power of the silver. And if you're not, then channel paintings, channel them because they are, they are going to be your best, okay? And that's what I'm going to say there. So I am rushing these ones just because- What's my number? Oh, number, yes. 
34, number seven. Seven's heaven. Seven. Okay. So it's heaven. It's all about heaven. Channeling from heaven, okay? <laughs> um, where are we? We are going to number 11. Yes, who was number 11? Christopher. Christopher, this one's for you. So I need to bring up my um, chat box for you. So this is for you, Christopher. Oh, wow, Christopher. You are the white vibration. So you are a transcendial. A transcendental energy coming from the third dimension, not the third dimension, but the third light body. Um, the transcendental energy of a white is a spiritual teacher. So um, with your demonstration of our psychic energies earlier, then I'm going to say, Christopher, that you really do need to look at being a spiritual um, consultant because you're... you're um, vibrational your vibrational energy as a psychic I believe could be really really high there and this is actually telling us it's a 39 which is 11 and the 11 takes us up to again the angel energy but it also brings us back down to a 2 and sometimes a 2 will not wish to step forward okay so you really you need to step forward because twos are all about pushing themselves forward. So please let me know in the chat line. I know we are rushing through this one final one. Yes, number 12. Um, Sandria, am I saying your name? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay, finally got a name correct. <laughs> so you are the orange vibration. I love this color. Um, and it's, it's talking about nat the natural you. But that's not what we're doing here. We're talking about dimensions. So the orange dimension um, is very much to do with the sacral chakra. And if we bring that, that particular chakra into alignment of where you are right now, then we are talking about, again, it's the first light body, but it's the second dimension. Now, the second dimension is actually in connection with animal, the animal kingdom, flowers, plantation, anything to, that's like plant, you know, anything to do with the, the form of life um, or of the human plantation here. So the second dimension would tend to take people into connecting either with plants, um, connection in that way, you know, or working with herbs, you know, because that's a plantation of the earth and connecting to Mother Earth. But you're, you're operating out of the second dimension and that's also to do with animals, okay? as well. Colour orange connects us up to your sacral chakra. Sacral chakra connects us also to your incarnation book of life. Um, so it's all, all about reflection over life as well. And also it takes us to the ascending, descending, sigma and colon um, into the actual elimination process within the body. So all of that is connecting for yourself but it comes from the second dimension, okay? And when you're looking at that, your meditations should either A, go down into the earth or your meditations should uh, be connecting up to the animal world. So in other words, animal medicine, okay? So I hope you have all enjoyed our little journey here Excellent. between the cards, the psychic abilities that you all have. I'm absolutely amazed at you. Um, I've loved every minute of it. Thank you so kindly, too. Joan Francis, for your Thank wonderful you. presentation. Everyone Thank who's you, interested Joan. in continuing the conversation with Joan, she is over in room 14.